we have an aging population in the United States. And that's no surprise. We know that. But what is surprising is how long so many of us are living. So my two grandfathers died at 65 and 62 years old. My father died at 72 years old. And today, I have siblings and first cousins that are way, way past those ages. And many of them look like they're going to make it into their 90s or maybe past 100 in terms of their health profile. And that's happening more and more that uh, we don't do dangerous work like we used to. Medicine, most of us, medicine has made enormous advancements. And a lot of people pay a lot of attention to things that improve their health. And so people who are doing those things to live a healthier life, whether it's what they eat or exercise they do or uh, getting the right amount of sleep, whatever it is, people are living longer and longer and longer. And so this is a huge dilemma for you if you're older or for your parents or grandparents based on their age. And the big problem is where you, as you get older, you get to a point where you're not well enough to work, but your cash has dwindled or it's gone. And the only thing you have to live on, like roughly a third of retirees do now, is a monthly Social Security check. And it's really hard to get it done with that. So life expectancy is a big roll of the dice. And you can look a certain amount is uh, genetic, but most of it is just randomized. It's luck. And it's the things I talked about, about how you take care of yourself. And so you could have somebody say, well, you know, the actuarial tables say you're going to live to 82, you're going to live to 85, you're going to live to 88, or you're going to live to 79, or whatever it is. And you're thinking, well, I wonder if I got enough money to get to that. And the thing is, when you look at a life expectancy, it's something that's hard for people to get their arms around. Roughly half of people are going to live longer than that expected life expectancy. The other half, probably less. But the point is, this is a hard number to pin down. Unless you're Daddy Warbucks and you're just rolling in money, this is something to solidly think about. And there's a solution that's almost impossible for me or anyone else to get anyone to consider. It's what's known as longevity insurance. And so the way it works is when you're going into retirement or you're approaching retirement or you're already retired, you figure out, okay, I got to have so much money to make it to age 80 or age 85 or whatever the number is. And those are the two most common for what I'm going to talk about. And so you have this money that would be okay to exhaust completely by age 80 or 85 because then you can buy a longevity insurance policy that pays you a check every month for living longer than what you might have expected. So if you buy it starting at age 80, for 80 plus the number of years you live, you live to 100, for the next 20 years, it's going to pay you every single month a good amount of money. 85, if you wait till then, then it's going to pay you a lot more money per month every month going forward. And so there's no free lunch here. The way it works is you buy one of these policies, make sure it's from a really solid insurance company rated A plus or A plus plus by Ambest. You buy one, usually people buy it in their 60s. And then it starts paying at 80 or 85, most common. And so it pays you so much because it's a roll of the dice. So many people who buy these 
pass away before they turn that age. So the insurer is keeping all that money. And then if you're somebody who lives longer than they expect, then you trigger that that policy payment starting at 80 or 85, and you're getting a really hefty check from the years the insurance company was able to make money on your money that you already paid them to buy this longevity insurance. And so you get that, plus you get additional money because so many other people didn't make it. So the policies can be really generous. The insurance company can make money, your money earned money, and then your money has more money because of all the people who didn't make it. Now, I don't know anybody, we'll never know, right, because they're gone, who's like, oh, man, I never should have bought that policy because I'm not going to live long enough to benefit from it. So what? The whole purpose of this is to not outlive your money. And that's why I love these. I have a briefing on longevity insurance, how it works, how you buy one policy at Clark.com. But it is a solution to a real problem and that we're living longer than people thought we would. But a lot of us, as we get later in our years, we're not, uh, truth be told, as healthy as it would be fun to live with. And it requires uh, more expenses, more care potentially. And the longevity insurance is there to help you through that time of your life. 